What's howling everybody? I'm Batwolf and welcome to another episode of Art Time. In this episode we will be taking the Venom symbiote from Marvel Comics and combining some of the characters from the Mortal Kombat universe. And seeing as the new Mortal Kombat 1 game just came out, I think this would be perfect timing to really look into what these bone-breaking, ass-kicking characters would have as their new designs. For those of you who don't read comic books but love playing video games, the Venom symbiote is an alien life form that's dedicated to finding the perfect symbiotic relationship with another host. The Clintar use their abilities to take over their hosts and amplify the host's abilities and sometimes even their looks as well. Of the incredible characters from the crypts of the Mortal Kombat universe, here are the roster that we have for today's video. Considered as the poster boys of the Mortal Kombat world, here we have Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Liu Kang. Now with the geek facts out of the way, let us begin. First up we have Hanzo Hasashi, aka Scorpion. One of, if not the most recognized Mortal Kombat character, and is my personal favorite. And since he was my favorite, I really wanted to get this one right. First, I wanted to make him in a pose that was unhinged and that would match well with the character in the symbiote. Immediately, I thought of the cover of MK Legends Scorpion's Revenge. Ultimately, a perfect pose, and if you guys haven't seen that movie and love Mortal Kombat and Scorpion, I definitely suggest you watch that movie. It's awesome. Incorporating his ninja gear into a Venomized style, I made his robes and symbol into not just a tarantula like Venom, but a scorpion like, well, scorpion. Now, if you're a Scorpion fan, you probably knew this was coming. I definitely needed to incorporate his kunai into the design. So instead of adding one, I added kunai tendrils along with the venomized scorpion tail. After the lighting was done, I summoned the fire around him and the venom style web background. And here is venomized scorpion. Next we have the cold and collected ice ninja from the Lin Kuei clan, Sub-Zero. In this case we are using the second and more well known version of the character, Kwai Liang. Using the same idea for Scorpion's mask, I added an open mouth guard to Sub-Zero's design. For Kwai Liang, I based the body off of a pose from the Riot symbiote from 2018's Venom movie. Combining the blades of the symbiote with an ice weaponry of the Lin Kuei, this resulted in a really cool combination. Originally I wanted to make the certain parts of the uniform white, just as I did with Scorpion, but I just felt like it didn't match the color scheme right. So I thought that the blues matched with the black very well. I wanted to add the same kind of vibe that you get from Sub-Zero when he approaches you in Injustice 2. So in the back, I added a snowy ice tundra as he approaches you with his weaponry ready. Very few can match and stand little chance against Sub-Zero in icy combat. But now, we are dealing with a venomized Sub-Zero. Now is the chosen one of Mortal Kombat, warrior of the Shaolin, and now the leading man and fire god of MK, Liu Kang. Of the three characters here, Liu Kang is the most in control over his emotions and discipline especially as the fire god. As I've done in the past, when a character has control over themselves and their emotions, I find that this allows them to have control over how unhinged they want themselves to be as their symbiote self. This goes for characters like Spider-Man, Raiden, Doctor Strange, and others. This allowed me to focus on a cool fire visor and made a MK dragon stretch across his body instead of the tarantula on Venom. Making the whole costume red, black, and white, I think this allows an epic design being loyal to numerous versions of the Chosen One. Lastly, seeing as he is the fire god, I added him using his fire around his body, like in the photo here. With an extra power boost unlike any other, here we have a venomized Liu Kang. Thank you guys so much for watching and a big thank you to Ed Boon and John Tobias for working on the numerous video games and delivering these incredible characters to us over the years. If you guys want a continuation with a K, uh, please let me know in the comments if you want a part two to this video and which of the numerous characters you would like to see Venomized. Personally, I would really like to see what a Raiden design would look like, but let me know what you guys think. And just a side note, as a fan of Mortal Kombat, I'd just like to say I'm having a little bit of an issue if I'm going to get Mortal Kombat 1, because I just love Mortal Kombat 11 so much. Please let me know how the game is, I've been hearing mixed reviews, and if you're a fan, please let me know if I should buy the game or not. Until the next time, like, share, subscribe, and this is Batwolf, howling out.